Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This video will be a short introductory tutorial to pointer variables, aka pointers. In this video, we'll cover what is a pointer and why do we have pointers in C-based languages such as C++, how do we define and initialize it, how do we assign an address to it, and how do we dereference it utilizing a simple program. I will also cover the basics of dynamic memory allocation with a simple program. So what is a pointer? A pointer or a pointer variable is a variable that holds an address of the variable. So far, we have been working with variables that hold the value of a specific type, like int x. Pointers, on the other hand, will hold the address of the x instead. Kind of like arrays and reference variables, but more low level. So the question is why? Why should we have a variable to hold the address? And why does C-based languages such as C++ use pointers? Well, the short answer is all about efficiency. First and foremost, pointers allows us to do dynamic memory allocation, which prevents memory wastage. This happens to be a pretty big deal. We all know memory is very expensive. And also, it's a more efficient way of passing arrays and strings to functions, and it makes it possible to pass address of structures to the function instead of the entire structure. Again, efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Now let's get to it. Pointers in C++ are recognized by indirection operator or asterisk. For example, a definition of a pointer variable or how you define a pointer variable can be written as int asterisk non-PTR, for example. Non-PTR is a programmer-defined variable that I chose. I could have called it cheeseburger if I wanted it to, but as a part of convention, your variables should always be descriptive of their purpose. Note, spacing the asterisk doesn't matter. It could be any of this and still it would mean the same. We can simply assign an address to a pointer variable by declaring the pointer and then assigning the address utilizing ampersand. Let's look at this program very quick. In this program, we want to print num as well as the address of the num. We have declared the pointer and we have initialized it to zero by using null pointer. Note, null pointer or null PTR is a keyword and it pretty much means zero. Now here, and then we're using ampersand to assign an address to a pointer that we have declared earlier. That way we can print it out, print out the address actually. So let's run this program. And here is the output. We can see that the num is 5 and the address is right over here. Now let's practice dereferencing in a uh, pointer. By dereferencing it, I'm going to write C out, and I'm just going to start changing it back to just see how it's going to work. I'm going to be using an asterisk and num pointer. Now let's run the program. And the value is 5, the address is this, and then we're changing it back and it's going to be 5 again. Okay, up next, let's look at a program that uses dynamic memory allocation in an array using a pointer variable. This program totals and averages the money you spent on grocery for any number of days during the month. The money you spent are stored in a dynamically allocated array. This is where I'm dynamically allocating an array large enough to hold the number of days the user went grocery shopping.
and this is where I'm freeing the dynamic allocated memory. Okay, now let's run this program. The program is going to ask how many days did you do grocery shopping this past month. I'm going to just put three. And then it's going to ask me for day one. Let's say we spent $100 on the first day, $50 on the second day, $30 and 32 cents on the third day. And then it's going to give me the average and the total number, total amount that I have spent it. Now let's go back over here very quick. There are two things that I want to show you guys in here once again. This is how we have allocated the memory and this is how we're freeing the memory. This is very important to pay attention to. This is important because it's happening at the programmer's free will. As a programmer, you want to be in charge, and dynamic memory allocation is a great tool because it gives the programmer the flexibility to allocate and deallocate memory on need basis. This will conclude this video tutorial. I hope this helped you understand pointers better.